Hello and welcome. A few months ago I did a repair on a Yaesu FT897, replaced the uh, IF filters, and at the time I had speculated that these had been absorbing moisture and that was the cause of the failure because when I warmed them up with the soldering iron they were sweating. Um, these have been sitting in a drawer for a while and uh, now after a couple of months of Actually, I lost the things. <laughs> I put them in a safe place and couldn't find them. So uh, we found them again in the in the little place where we had tucked them away. And uh, let's warm one up and see what happens. I'm just going to set the thing on the soldering iron here and add a little heat and see what occurs. And after sitting in a drawer down here, of course it's been pretty dry, the dehumidifier runs down here all the time. Yeah, we're hearing some crackling and popping. If you remember when we took these out, they were covered with what looked like water. However, I'm not seeing any of that now. Let's crack one of these things open and see what's inside. And uh, we're just going to go medieval on its ass. Let's see if it'll break open. Well, there, the case appears to have popped loose. Oh, some of the guts have fallen out. Oh, look at the corrosion. Let's bring this right up to the lens here. Can you see that? Green corrosion. So, obviously, this has seen some kind of moisture or humidity. Here's another piece out of it. Look at the corrosion in there. That's your failure mode in these things. Now whether my theory about the plastic being hygroscopic and absorbing moisture is real or whether there's some other mechanism at work, it definitely appears to be, yeah, everything in here has got corrosion on it except the uh, actual ceramic pieces. Anything metallic especially these end connectors here, the ones that are closest to the outside wall. Although they appear to be dry inside at this point in time. Let's break another one open. I am still leaning towards it being a moisture issue with these. Even though they've been... Uh, they're not showing a lot of evidence of it at this point in time. They're dried out inside. Again, more very heavy corrosion on that end plate. And it may just be poor manufacturing technique. But uh, I was hoping to find evidence of water inside or finding that they would sweat. Here's the one I just heated with the iron and you can see the char mark on the bottom. But I have no way at this point, I guess, to prove or disprove what caused this. Oh, no. <laughs> this one is soaking wet inside. Yeah, this one is actually soaking wet. I don't know if I can get the camera to see that or not. Oh, let me get a flashlight. Actually, how about the rest of them? Yeah, that one actually has signs of moisture in it, as does this one. Let me get a flashlight. Oh, let's see. Okay. Where's that first one? Oh yeah, that's soaking wet inside. Let's see if we can get the light in here right. I hope that's showing up on camera. That thing is just full of water droplets. So I think theory proven. These things just absorb moisture. So there you have it. That's what's happening with the Yaesu IF filters when they fail. They are simply absorbing atmospheric moisture and corroding to the corroding to part pieces. Blah. Easy for me to say. So that's it. Short and sweet. We finally found them. We dug them back out of the drawer after several months of sitting in a very dry uh, area. In fact, the relative humidity down here is typically well under 50%. I keep it dry in the lab and uh, full of moisture. I'm the Radio Mechanic. See you soon.